Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we're gonna convert decimal fractions, which are things like 0, 0,48, and we're gonna convert that to common fractions, which is something like three over five. So we need to learn how to convert. So we're gonna do a whole bunch of examples in this lesson where we've got um, different types, for example, um, ones like that, but then we also have ones where there's a number in the front. Now some learners get a bit confused with that. So we've got a bunch of different types. Let me show you the basics quickly. So let's say we have zero comma three two. All I want you to do is look at how many decimals spaces there are from the back. So there's two, right? Can you see from here to here? There's two places, one, two. So when you think of two, I want you to think of 100. When you think of, um, or let's do it like this, one decimal, just like when we were going from common to decimals. Um, when you have one decimal, I want you to think of 10. When you think of two, when you have two decimals, think of 100. When you have three decimals, think of a thousand and so on and so forth. So if you have five decimals, then you would have a number with five zeros. So here we have two decimals from the back. So I want you to think of a hundred, then take that number and just write it over a hundred. Then I want you to remember that these numbers can sometimes be simplified. So for example, I know that the number four can go into both of these because I know that I could write 32 as four times eight, and I could write 100 as four times 25. And so these fours can cancel. And so then you would be left with an answer of eight over 25. Let me do one more example, and then we'll move on to the official <laughs> examples. So let's say we had zero comma zero zero two. So if you look from the back of here, there's one, two, three decimals. So that should make you think of a thousand. So you just take the number, put it over a thousand, and then simplify. So I know that this number here could be written as 500 multiplied by two. So these could then cancel. And so at the top, there's nothing. So you just put a one over 500. Let's do one more. Um, just so you know, when they, for example, give you a number over here, there's different ways that you'll see people teaching this. But trust me, the method I'm gonna show you is the easiest method. Just leave that number. Don't even look at that number. Leave it for now. Just pretend that it was a zero, okay? So you would imagine 0, 0,34, there would be two decimals. So that would be 34 over 100. Then just take that number two and just put it there, like as a mixed. So we've just created a mixed fraction. And then don't forget to simplify. So I know that um, 34 could be written as 17 multiplied by two and 100 could be written as 50 multiplied by two, and so the twos could cancel, and so you'd be left with two, and then 17 over 50. So that two doesn't really do anything. I've seen guys on um, online trying to teach this, or teachers, they try to include this two. It is not wrong, but it just makes the numbers so much bigger to work with. Um, so yeah, okay, so let's go do all of these examples now. We've got a whole bunch coming up. So here we go. Um, we can see that there's two decimal places from the end, so we just say 45 over 100, and then simplify. So I know that 45, you could write it as nine times five, and I know that this you could write as uh, 20 multiplied by five. So the fives could cancel, and then you're left with nine over 20, and then this can't simplify any further. Here we have one decimal from the back, so only one decimal. So we just say seven over 10. Remember, when it's one decimal, use a 10. When it's two decimals, use a 100. When it's three decimals, use a 1,000. Now, here we have one, two, three decimals from the back. So we say 255 over 1,000. Now, I know that the number five can go in here. Now, I don't know exactly how many times, so I'm just gonna quickly do a divide. Or you could even just take out your calculator and you could see that 255 divided by five is 51. So I could rewrite this then as 51 multiplied by five and I could write this one as 200 multiplied by five. So the fives can then cancel which I'll show like that. And then you're left with 51 over 200. And then always make sure that those can't simplify, but they can't. Okay, now here we have a mixed number. So just ignore the mixed number. Pretend that there was a zero here. So now you just look at the 32, that's two decimals. So you're just gonna say 
um, 32 over 100. Because it's two decimals, we use 100. And then this little one that we had here, you just let it chill out in the front here. Now we're gonna simplify. So I know that this number could be written as, um, you could write it as four times eight, or um, maybe you only thought of 16 times two, and then 100 can be written as 50 times two, and then the twos can cancel. Let's do that in a different color. And so we then have one and 16 over 50, and so, I know that that can still be broken down further because I know that the number 16 is the same as eight times two and the number 50 is the same as 25 times two. And so those could cancel. And so you're left with one and then eight over 25. Okay, with this one, ignore the two. So just think of it as, um, just look at this part over here. So that's one, two, three decimals. So you just say two and then take the number 56 and then write it over. Because there's three decimal places, that's a thousand. And so then we simplify. So I know that 56 is the same as 28 multiplied by two. And I know that a thousand is 500 multiplied by two. So I know that these twos could cancel. And so you're left with it. This could still simplify further. So I know that 28 can be written as 14 multiplied by two. And I know that 500, oh, it's gonna be able to simplify even further after that. So then those twos can cancel. So then you're left with two and 14 over 250. And then I know that um, the number 14 is the same as seven times two and the number 250 is 125 times two. So those two can cancel. And so we're left with two and seven over 125 as your final answer. So you might have been able to simplify this a lot faster. It all comes down to can you think of a big enough number that can go into both. All right, so here's the next one. So ignore that number or just write it over there. And then there's one, two, three decimals here. So that'll be a thousand. Okay, and then always remember that this is in the front. Now this could definitely simplify. We learned in a previous lesson that the number eight can actually go into 1,125 times. So to make this really quick for ourselves, we could leave it as eight, and then we could write the bottom as that. And then these two would cancel. Now, when you've got nothing at the top, just put a one there, and then there is your final answer with this 12 in the front.